Welcome to the fascinating world of anaerobic digestion, nature's recycling system that turns waste into energy. I'm Steve Last, at least this is a synthesized voiceover of me, and today we're diving into how this remarkable process works. Imagine your banana peels, coffee grounds, and lawn clippings aren't just trash, but actually untapped energy. That's the magic of anaerobic digestion, a natural biological process where microorganisms break down organic matter without oxygen, creating valuable biogas and nutrient-rich fertilizer. So what exactly happens inside these digesters? Think of them as giant stomachs. Just like your digestive system breaks down food without oxygen, anaerobic digesters create the perfect oxygen-free environment for specialized bacteria to feast on organic waste. These microscopic workers are incredibly efficient, they transform what would be landfill waste into renewable energy and reduce greenhouse gases by capturing methane that would otherwise escape into our atmosphere. Anaerobic digesters come in several types. There are many types, but five that I'd like you to be aware of are 1. Covered lagoon digesters, essentially covered ponds that trap biogas. 2. Plug flow digesters, where waste enters one end and exits the other. 3. Complete mix digesters, that thoroughly mix waste with microorganisms in heated tanks. 5. Fixed film digesters, which use special media to support bacterial growth. The choice, for any one site, depends on available space, feedstock type, climate conditions, and intended purpose. Now, let's take a closer look at the actual digestion process that makes this all possible. Part 2. The Four Stages of Anaerobic Digestion Anaerobic digestion isn't just one process, it's a carefully orchestrated four-step dance performed by different groups of microorganisms. Let's break down each stage. First comes hydrolysis. Here, enzymes break down complex organic matter, things like carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, into simple sugars, amino acids, and fatty acids. Think of this as the preparation stage, making the waste digestible for the bacteria that follow. Next up is acidogenesis. During this stage, acidogenic bacteria transform those simple compounds into volatile fatty acids, plus some alcohols, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen. This stage is like the first real digestive process. The third stage is acetogenesis. Here, another group of bacteria converts these volatile fatty acids into acetic acid, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. This step prepares the final ingredients needed for methane production. Finally, we reach methanogenesis, the star of the show. Methanogenic archaea, some of Earth's oldest microorganisms, convert these simple compounds primarily into methane and carbon dioxide. This biogas mixture is what makes anaerobic digestion so valuable for energy production. For these stages to work efficiently, we need to maintain ideal conditions. The process works best, for most people, at temperatures between 35 to 40 degrees Celsius with a pH balance between 6.5 to 7.5. Proper monitoring and adjustment of the process, using the results you get, prevents inhibition that could slow or stop the process. Now that we understand the biology behind anaerobic digestion, let's explore how we're putting it to work. Part 3. Anaerobic Digestion Applications, Benefits and Products Anaerobic digestion isn't just fascinating science, it's a versatile solution with multiple real-world applications. Let's look at how this process is making our world more sustainable. First, it's changing waste management. Wastewater treatment plants use anaerobic digestion to break down sewage sludge, reducing volume and killing pathogens while producing energy. Food processing facilities convert their organic waste into power rather than sending it to landfills. As an energy source, biogas from anaerobic digestion is a true renewable hero. This methane-rich gas can be 1. Burned directly for heating 2. Used to generate electricity 3. Refined into biomethane for vehicle fuel 4. Fed into natural gas pipelines Unlike fossil fuels, this energy comes from waste that's continuously produced, creating a sustainable cycle that reduces greenhouse gas emissions. But the benefits don't end with biogas. Let's look at what else comes from this process. First is digestate, the nutrient-rich material left after digestion. This makes excellent fertilizer and soil conditioner, reducing the need for chemical fertilizers while improving soil health. 
It's the perfect example of circular economy in action. The process also helps us treat wastewater, helping protect our water resources. From farms to municipalities to food processors, anaerobic digestion offers a win-win solution, managing waste while creating valuable resources. As we face growing environmental challenges, this ancient natural process is proving more valuable than ever. Next time you throw away food scraps or flush a toilet, remember the previously unimagined potential of that organic matter and the microscopic workers that could transform it from waste into energy. Thanks for joining me in exploring how anaerobic digestion works. If you found this information valuable, please subscribe for more content on renewable energy solutions. Until next time.